What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters and today I'm going to talk about five ways that you can play Magic the Gathering entirely free. Now <clears throat> each one of these ways has its pros and cons and most of them are digital but you said you wanted free, not the best. <laughs> so let's get going. Let's start with the official Magic software. Magic Duels. It used to be called Duels of the Planeswalkers, and now it's just called Duels. Um, overall, it's it's fine. It's ve it's very polished compared to something like Magic: The Gathering Online. It has its pros. It has its cons. But it's free for um, everything but PlayStation. Basically, unfortunately, iPad, iPhone, PC, and Xbox One. Uh, so if you don't have a PlayStation, I guess this wouldn't apply for you, but that is why I'm going to talk about a couple different versions. You have story mode, which I like because um, it gives me a way to digest uh, lore a little bit. You've got battle mode. You can see your collection. You can do quests. I mean, certainly there are microtransactions in the game. There are things that are suboptimal in the game. However, it's still, in my opinion, one of the best ways to learn how to play magic um, you still can't really use planeswalkers in it so it's not like the complete game but it's at been a, at minimum uh the best way to learn the game uh other than somebody teaching you directly the second way i want to talk about and i am not uh fully versed in all of these full all of these um software suites because I generally play Magic the Gathering online, but I realized the free market is a thing, and uh, I figured it would, wouldn't it be a great resource to go through some of the options. I think the consensus best way to play currently is by using a client called Xmage. You can play Magic against one or more online players. Uh, you can play AI or co uh, computer opponents or other people. It's got about 10,000 cards loaded in, according to them, starting from Eventide. Um, it's the closest to what we would be considered a Magic Online clone. Um, it, instead of just being a sandbox like a lot of the other things, it provides rules enforcement, automatic rules enforcement, and options to play drafts, um, different types of games. I've, I've been told the deck editor is a little bit clunky, deck building and stuff like that. But what's cool about it is you can draft for free. And I'm actually considering um, uploading some content on the channel using Xmage, although I don't want to bring too much attention to them. I don't know what the legalities of it is. I'm sure Wizards doesn't care for it. Um, but you can run tournaments, just everything. Tiny Leader, Commander, Vintage Legacy, Modern Standard, Block. I mean, there are other formats. You could probably play Popper on it. I'm sure a lot of you um, also play on Xmage constantly, so I'm sure you'll be commenting down below. Um, just very utilitarian in its look and feel, but uh, it seems like the most robust option for free. Again, it's a free download. You can download the image work. It takes a while. Like You, you got to download the card images, and that takes kind of over... I would probably let it run overnight. I don't know why it was going so slow for me. But you can see down here, people are chatting. We want to fire an EMA draft. So if I wanted to go um, and look at various matches, lim limited tournaments, you can see this will change here. Dual Commander, Constructed Standard, everything. So it'll take you a while to get used to it. But Xmage is another free way that you can play Magic the Gathering. The third option I have... Oh, by the way, in addition to supporting popular constructed formats such as standard modern legacy, Xmage also supports in-application drafting for current set as well, current sets as well as cubes. So, pretty spicy. Um, the next thing I wanted to look uh, look at is Untap.in. Now, this is something that was brand new, brought to me anyway. I mean, it was new to me. Uh, here's a look at it. I just signed up for it. Looks like there's about when I signed in earlier There was like 300 people in here now. There's like 274 and you can see the chat is actually quite lively There's a lot of people in here. you I don't have any decks built, but you can build a deck on a variety of different formats so 
Uh, we have Force of Will, Magic the Gathering, L5R, Dimension. I don't even know what all of these are. So not even just magic. Uh, you can do a lot of different things, but you could build a magic card. One of the things people said when I talked to them in here is that one of the primary reasons people like this is that you can import decks very easily. Um, I want to look at my notes. Um, X Mage might be the premier in online free play, but it would appear Untap is getting better. Um, no download with Untap, and it's much easy, much easier to set up. Uh, you can use tappedout.net. Talk about your deck here, and then click a button and bring your deck in. So this may be something if you're light on space or I don't know, for some reason the deck building gets annoying to you. Overall, uh, not too bad. You can see there's all sorts of games going on here. EDH, Modern, Standard, Popper, everything you could want. And you could even spectate um, and watch. Now the thing is about these like sandbox type things is that you're literally doing everything, okay? So you're not, um, it's not like MTGO where things happen. You have to do, you play a card, you can see the opponent played a uh, Blighted Cataract. See, when you go over it, it'll bring it up so you can see it easier. It's like actually playing um, in front of the computer and you can see, now they're talking. Okay, he played a Swamp past the turn. Now this guy is gonna do something, play the turn, or pass the turn. So just like real life magic, these sandbox, uh, um, applications are a bit manual, but again, totally free. The other um, fourth option I wanted to show you is actually Cockatrice. I actually thought that this went away. I thought that they had gotten some sort of lawsuit or Wizards shut their servers down, but I have been told, in fact, that is not the case. And I downloaded it, and sure enough, here it is. So you can go through all their cards. You can see... Um, you can connect to the server, you can start a local game, you can play against other people, you can edit your decks, um, you can edit tokens. So basically, load, save decks, all sorts of interesting things. It's an open source, multi-platform uh, program for playing tabletop gar card games over a network. The pro program server design pre prevents, this is straight from their website, prevents any kind of client modifications to gain an unfair advantage in the game. Um, it's a do all type client. It's basically like playing magic in real life. You must do everything. Uh, and then you use the chat window to talk. So you'll say, you can roll a dice. You see what you see what they got, they see what you got. Okay, I won their dice roll, I type. I'm going first. Right click the top of your desk. Uh, you know, you can mulligan, you can scry, you can do anything you would in a real magic game. It takes a little while to get used to. And let me know if you guys want me to do some tutorials on these. Um, I would be happy to. I would have to take a deep dive into them myself, um, but I feel like I could figure it out and share it with you if you guys are interested. Um, you know, of the four free options, you know, I would rather see everyone start out with duels to learn the game. And then it would appear that X Mage is kind of the premier online. But obviously, there's something to both Cockatrice and Untap. That I am because there's hundreds of people in each community. So it seemed like there was no problem getting games. Okay, so the fifth option to play Magic the Gathering for free is one that involves actual in real life cards. Um, there aren't a lot of options, but uh, many local game stores have these things called free new player decks. Uh, as long as they haven't opened them and parted them out, uh, they usually get a couple boxes. And they're supposed to give them out to new players free of charge. You might want to call ahead, uh, as I'm not entirely sure how often they get them. They used to get them when they got the core sets. I'm sure someone will let us know in the description down below. But I called my LGS. They had a pile of them. I called a different LGS. They had a pile of them. They said, come on in and get one. So, I mean, obviously, I didn't need it. But they're still out there and available. Um, maybe... You even want to go to a couple different local game stores and get one or two from each and then build a little bit of a free collection, get into the game, and play your buddies. They're pre-constructed decks that will battle each other pretty fairly. Uh, it's not the best solution, but it is free magic and some free cards. Um, I know there aren't many legal ways to play Magic the Gathering free in paper, but at least there's new player decks. Another thing you can do 
is hang around drafts or show up after a draft is over because I know as someone who drafts a lot, I always give away my draft chaff as it's called. So most drafters, let's say they draft a $10 card. That's the card they put in their pocket and they leave the cards on the table. I've done this nearly every draft because I want someone to come in and get them. Now, uh, I think most local game stores end up just putting these in their bulk boxes or maybe they'll sift through them. Maybe someone forgot it. But uh, if you're a new player, you know, don't beg them. But if you're a new player, oftentimes people will just give you their draft chaff and you can build a little bit of a collection that way and build different decks at home that you can play. Uh, the other thing is if you go to large events uh, like GPs, uh, well, GP specifically, really, I would say, where there's drafts firing constantly, you can keep an eye out, and oftentimes people just leave their cards behind. Um, you can give you their draft chaff, just be helpful, maybe offer to take the trash away the ta from the table. Uh, that's something else you can do. You can talk to your local game store and see if there's anything you can do to help out. Uh, a lot of times, uh, game stores need help sorting cards or doing all sorts of different things like that. Maybe you could trade your time sorting cards in exchange for picking some of those cards or maybe a couple booster packs or whatever the case may be. There's a lot of ways that you can get some free cards. I think the online ways I talked about earlier, particularly X-Mage, would probably be the best solution in terms of wanting to play competitively and deck testing because look, I get it. Just like someone who is a prime plays primarily online like I do, I don't want to have to rebuy all my cards to play in paper. So I get that. So if you have all the cards in real life, but you want to do some deck testing, I can understand not wanting to go rebuy all the cards again. So, you know, I gave you four ways that you could do it electronically. Well, three really that have entire freedom. Duels, a great way to learn, also free. It does have some microtransactions, but they're not required to play. Uh, people say the older version of duels is better. It probably is, but this one's most up to date. It has the latest cards in it, and it seems to work pretty good overall. Um, certainly better than uh, NTGO. So if you guys have any additional ideas below on okay ways to acquire free magic cards or to play magic for free, I would love to see you post them. If you have other websites or clients you'd like to use, post them up down below. And if you can share anything about the ones I talked about, that would be great too. Hopefully this is helpful and we'll talk to you again real soon. What's up and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here, where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.